If you're looking to upgrade or if you need a second PC, home office PC, well, today I have the B Max. This one is a mini PC with the Intel Serum J4115, 8 gigabytes of system RAM, 128 gigabytes of SSD. You know, so you can upgrade as well with the M.2. Um, display, it has a two 4K HDMI output and also see, you allow you to connect up to three display, dual band and much more. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxCNT.com here in MediaBoxCNT Lab, the YouTube channel. So today we have the B Max mini PC. So we're going to do an open box and then I'm going to show you how fast and easy to set up this thing. Only a few questions. It has a pre-installed Windows 10 and now you have a perfect PC, home office PC. I think this is a perfect home office PC, but not only that, how about a server? Well, you can run a Plex server. Cody, you can run Cody here. Put it right on your TV and run a simulator. Run a bunch of 80 games. Run it. Run Plex on. Uh, again, Plex, Cody, and much more. So right now, we can open this thing and I'll show you how the whole thing works. All right, so let's take a look at the B Max mini PC. All right. Oh, nice looking box. I love the logo. Looks real nice. Take the box out. Good size. Good to hide anywhere. Or if you don't want to hide it, it looks real nice. Uh, and with the logo, Pmax. Take a look what else we have. I can see the instructions how to mount it in the back of the display. That's it. And also we can see the brackets. Right there, we have the brackets to install right in the back of the display. And you don't use any space out of your desk. Right? That's the, goal. That's the way it goes. And what else we have here? We need the power supply. So like I said, we got the power supply. And I can see HDMI cable. The power supply is rated for 110 to 40, 12 volts. So you can use it at anywhere. And we can see in the bottom the HDMI cable. So you don't need to go to buy any cable. Comes with it. That's perfect. All right, so now we just got the B Max. Let's look over some of the things here. Power, two USB 3.0. C, display, you can display through here. Perfect. This is input output for audio and mic. Reset switch, two speakers in each side. Micro SD card, right the side, the 12 volt power supply. The Ethernet connection, gigabit and two USB 2.0 perfect to connect now keyboard and two HDMI output. So video one, video two, and video three, three displays, huh? it's perfect. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna power it up and I'll show you how fast this thing starts. Before we start, we're gonna install the M.2 SSD drive. So the thing you have to do, take those four, um, Stick it pads, you can put it back again. We take the four screws out. We're gonna install 256 gigabytes. Pretty simple and fast to install. You can put a you know half a terabyte, one terabyte, two terabytes, whatever you need, and that will become my D drive. And we can see the 128 gigabyte SSD drive. We can see as well the battery. And we see everything inside in the speakers. Uh, they are inside. We don't see it. So they are right over there. The other side of the motherboard. It's real nice and small, right? So let's grab the memory. So we have a 256. So we need to take that screw out. You see how simple this thing is to install a, and a hard drive into it. And we have the 256 gig. So only what we're going to put it to match there. Push it down, put one screw, and you're done. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go and uh, we're going to load on Windows, and you see how far, fast this thing starts. All right, we have power here. I'm going to switch to VL, by the way. It's a dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Very important. In my case, I'm just connected hardwire. 
So we go this way so you guys can see. I'm going to press the power here. It has a nice blue light. So let's see. So you guys can see real time how long it will take to boot up. And it's coming up already. Yes, perfect. And the installation is pre installed Windows. What it means, it's going to ask you a question. You get like a keyboard layout, your name, account. Um, technically, it takes maybe about 11 minutes. The whole process. What do recommend when you finish the full installation and you create your account? Make sure you just go to Windows and update Windows, right? And that, that can take a while too. So make sure you just go update, leave it alone, come back an hour later, and that will be ready for you. And we are in. How fast is that? What, 10, 15 seconds? So let's log in now. And we're in. Super fast. And to show you how fast these things load up, we're going to start Explore. And if you see, we're in. It's a perfect PC. And let's think about today, most of the time, what we do is web based, right? Everything's in the cloud. So even if you work from home, I will guarantee a lot of the stuff you would do with all the base cloud format. So that's why you don't need much. Now, if you're going to be planning to play like um, games, no. All right. So that's pretty fast. Let's go into the my system. The preference in the computer you can see right over here we go my pc one second and we see the c drive like i said it has 128 gigabytes right so part of you to see even detect my server without even doing anything i will see the server right there now you wonder hold on do you install the m2 why don't see what well, we need to we need to actually go into uh format and i need to activate the partition and that's what we're going to see here we're going to do that later on but let's go properties there because you guys want to see this and we see here the Intel Zeron, the J4115 CPU. That's the speed running right now, 188. We can see we do have the 8 gigabytes of system RAM, or memory RAM, right? DDR4, 64 bit, right? And we can see it also as well the Windows has been, you know, activated. Windows activated, right? And let's think about for a second if you need to buy Windows, it will cost you about 128 dollars alone if you build an PC and this one is already pre-installed so it's a pretty fast once again uh mini pc perfect for home office to use as an emulator or as, as a mini server at home as a perfect uh, and i say fast i love this thing easy to use so if you see guys it works perfect. Plus, it has a dual band, so we have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So, if you don't want to use wire like me, just fine. You can put it right in the back of the display. And the nice thing is, you have a two uh, HDMI output and one C. Now, in case you, if your display is not C and you have one of these hub, that will do it for you as well too. So, if you have one of these things, you plug this right in the C port, and then now. It should be somewhere here. We have an HDMI output. That's the case I'm going to use it. Oh, you can buy a cable from C to HDMI, but sometimes I don't need to buy a cable because I got already this. So I plug it in this right over here, and I got a bunch of USB now and plus a display because this is going to work with three displays, not two. So that's perfect for that. But if you got the C, that would be perfect. One little cable do it all. All right, all right, guys. So you want to get one of these things right now? The B Max. Uh, I will leave the link right below this video. And if you have one of these boxes or you're planning to get one right out of this, what are you going to be used it for? Home office, you love to run as a server, or you just want to hook up in the back of your TV so that way you have like a, I don't know, 60 inch great super smart TV or one of these boxes. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.